What the heck is leptin resistance and how in the world do you fix it? Stay tuned to this video to find out. Welcome back, my friends. My name is Sarah. This is the Sarah Kleiner Wellness YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to do a really simple video about what is leptin resistance and how do you fix it? I've kind of gotten away from doing these a little bit more short form videos, but my intention is to bring them back and my bigger intention is to bring my nicer camera out of that closet behind me there at some point and set up a little bit more of a professional looking view. So. That is in the works, but for now, I hope you can bear with me as I record this on Zoom. It's just a lot easier with a seven month old baby and a lot of things going on in my life. Love to still deliver information to you. So let's talk about leptin resistance. What the heck is it? I've talked a lot about this on my channel in longer videos and leptin resistance is essentially when the stored energy on your body is unable to communicate with your brain. Leptin is a master circadian signaling hormone. And so what it does is it gives directions to the rest of your body. It signals insulin, it signals your thyroid, it signals all of these things like your immune system. And so someone that has leptin resistance, number one, the biggest issue that people have can be weight loss resistance. So they are just dieting. They have slashed their calories. They are following a really strict diet, be that keto or be that carnivore, or even just counting calories, doing more of a standard diet, not even a specific diet. But I see people from all walks, just trying to manipulate calories, exercising more, and they're stuck. They're not getting anywhere with things. And a lot of people in the, you know, like kind of bro dieting community, they start to gaslight these people that are really, really struggling with the weight loss resistance. And they're like, it's calorie deficit, it's calorie deficit, it's calorie deficit. But when you are in my position and you've worked with hundreds and hundreds of people who have been in a calorie deficit for a really long time, and they are exercising and doing all these things that they're being told to do, and the scale's not moving, and some of them are even gaining weight, that's when you begin to explore this sort of a condition like leptin resistance. It's different than insulin resistance, although they go hand in hand. So if you are insulin resistant, by default, you are leptin resistant, but just because you're leptin resistance doesn't mean that you have insulin resistance. Leptin resistance is actually a precursor to insulin resistance. So it happens before. And again, these are a lot of people that get to me. They're like, I, you know, tested, I don't have insulin resistance, but something's not right. I can't lose weight. I'm a little, I'm overweight. I can't lose it. Um, having thyroid issues, all these things are tied to leptin resistance. And again, leptin resistance happens be before insulin resistance. It's a precursor. So weight loss resistance is the biggest, biggest thing. And so what happens, what causes leptin resistance? Again, when you sleep, and this is typically between 12 and two, as humans, we have this built-in hibernation time where our bodies are supposed to undergo these deep repair processes. Um, we have melatonin that is pumping through the body that allows our mitochondria to repair, that allows autophagy, apoptosis. A lot of people are missing out on this key window of sleep. And if you are, or it's becoming interrupted, then the download between leptin and your brain is not happening. So every night when you sleep, typically between 12 and two, the leptin, that hormone is supposed to dock to your brain and say, you have this amount of stored energy on your body. So tomorrow you need to expend this much energy and take in this much energy. So it actually can regulate your thyroid function. And so thyroid issues and leptin are hugely connected as well as the immune system and leptin. So autoimmune issues and leptin are, are hugely uh, connected as well. So the biggest thing I have people do when they have leptin resistance is work primarily on circadian health. And I know this is like one of those things that when it was told to me to do this years ago, I just thought this is just way too simple 
for this to actually work. I, I want to do a diet to address this. And yes, diet is a part of addressing leptin resistance um, because insulin will compete with leptin for that docking space at the hypothalamus. So if you're if you have chronically elevated insulin, that signal of leptin is not getting to your brain. Right. And so we do need to have diet in mind when we're looking to reverse leptin resistance. Um, you can't just go and eat whatever the heck you want, because if your insulin is chronically elevated, then again, that leptin is not going to dock to the hypothalamus at night, but working on your circadian health is primary because light coming in through the eye via the suprachiasmatic nucleus through the retina is going to signal your brain to start the proper hormone production every morning. We have a 24 hour ish cycle, um, that our hormones are supposed to release on. And then women, even if you are, uh, menopausal, we still have a 28 day infradian rhythm. So a monthly rhythm that our bodies follow a specific hormonal release pattern as well. Men is a little, men were a little bit more like 24 hour ish cycle, right? Women, we have a 24 hour cycle and another kind of built in 28 day ish cycle. Primary regulator of hormone production on that 24 hour ish cycle is going to be your light environment. So UVA light in the morning is going to tell your body, uh, make pregnenolone, which is like all of your sex hormones, <laughs> make the right amount of cortisol, make all of these things so that you're on this correct cycle. And then at night, we want to block artificial light at night because when you have artificial light coming in, it's again, a signal for your body to start making cortisol. Your body cannot make melatonin and cortisol at the same time. So one of these things, people are telling me blue blockers and block artificial light at night. And it was one of those things I thought this is so stupid. Like when are these stupid biohackers going to go away <laughs> And quit talking about this stuff. It's such utter nonsense. I don't want to wear those silly looking glasses, but it was one of those things when I started doing it, my sleep immediately got better. When I started doing the morning light and then the blue blockers at night, my sleep immediately got better and my appetite began to regulate because again, that leptin cannot dock to your brain at night when you're sleeping. If you are still making cortisol, if you're not making melatonin and artificial light, especially at night will continue your body to release cortisol. And that will prevent your body getting into these deep healing and repair stages. So fixing your 24 hour day, what that looks like is primary when it comes to fixing leptin resistance. And when you actually begin to fix leptin resistance, as I mentioned, an appetite correction will happen. Diet is one third of this. The other two thirds are going to be your light environment, how much energy, how many electrons you can pull into your body. Our bodies run on a DC electric current. Dr. Jack Cruz talks about this in way more detail and way more brilliantly than I can, but we have to think about our bodies as these electrical beings. And a lot of what we do in our modern lives taxes our bodies and pulls energy out of the body obesity and leptin resistance are states of losing electrons of losing energy. There's so many people in the diet world that talk about if you're obese, if you're overweight, your body can pull off of its own energy stores, right? If you're leptin resistant, your body doesn't actually know that you have all this excess energy and you're losing a lot of energy to your environment. So fixing leptin resistance looks like circadian rhythms, looks like proper diet and looks like overall lifestyle to make sure that you're pulling electrons into your body and recharging your body on this electrical basis. So I have some free resources that are going to be linked in the show notes for you. Number one is my building your perfect quantum day for optimal circadian health guide. That is free. It gives you a 24 hour day, what this looks like. I also have an FAQ guide answering all your questions about light. Like how do I do the morning routine when I'm busy, when I have kids, what type of light bulbs should I use in my house? I have all of those. It's a 30 page document with over a hundred questions. And I also have some programs. I have a 21 day leptin reset program. And if you are watching this and you want to take advantage of a discount, you can use the code podcast at any time. 
to save 10% on the program. But that's my signature program, kind of a beginner program for starting to reverse leptin resistance and get yourself out of the state so that your body knows how much energy it has on it. And things like your appetite, your mood, all of these things are going to be a lot more regulated. I've had people with really, really high antibodies that have Hashimoto's, seeing their antibodies come down after doing this program, seeing thyroid numbers come back into range after doing this program for a period of time. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, check out the free resources that are linked down in the show notes. And then if you want to dive deeper than the free resources, my 21 day leptin reset is a lifestyle guide and it's going to give you diet. It's going to give you all those things you need. And one more little thing I want to mention here about leptin resistance, supplements are not going to be helpful for reversing this issue. There are some supplements out there and I've actually tried some of them and had some of them with my clients, had them use them, not going to fix this problem. This is purely a lifestyle problem and a diet problem. You need to look at things holistically and throwing pills at it, throwing supplements at it, unfortunately not going to cut it. I had thought in the past that perhaps things like that were going to be helpful and I was wrong. So <laughs> here we are back to my original way that I was able to reverse leptin resistance in my body. And the way I've helped a lot of people do this again is through lifestyle. So I hope this has been helpful and I will try to do more of these short videos. Make sure you leave me a comment below if you would like that. And I will talk with you next time.